Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. This one coming from the new building. We're still doing a little bit of unpacking, but we have some new products for you. So let's see what we've got. Look at this. So first up for products this week, we have the Hack RF1 from Great Scott Gadgets. The Hack RF1 is a software-defined radio. This is the module itself, and a software-defined radio is one that you can program through software to do what most of the time you need hardware to do. This is capable of transmitting and receiving radio signals from 10 megahertz up to 6 gigahertz. And over here we've got the connector for the antenna, and then we also have the connector for the clock in and the clock out, a USB jack, and a couple of status LEDs, and some buttons. These are all SMA connectors, so should be pretty standard to find all the um, different connectors for this. And if you want to learn more about this, definitely check out the wiki that we have linked on the product page. That'll give you a lot more information than what we can tell you right here. If you need an antenna for the Hack RF1, we have a nice telescoping antenna that extends something like that, has a nice little hinge at the bottom, and has your standard SMA connector. Next product we have are these panel nuts. Uh, these panel nuts are really common for a lot of like buttons and switches and things like that and they're actually really hard to find if you lose them so we decided to carry like these 25 packs and you can see they're an M20 size which is pretty common diameter and if you check the recommended products you can see all the different buttons and switches that we carry that these work with. So if you have lost a few you might want to grab a pack of these. Next up, we have a new kit from Modular Robotics. This is another MOS kit, which fits into their MOS product lineup. And this is a larger kit than the other one that we carry. This is the Exo Fabulatronics 5200. And it's a lot like the other kit, it just has a lot more components inside. So you can see it's got a lot bigger box. And let me show you what's inside. So inside you can see we've got all these different components. We have the instruction manual, and the instruction manual has all these really nice diagrams of all the different stuff you can build with this kit. Inside we've got all the various components, and they all just connect together with these little magnets, so they just kind of snap together. And the magnets themselves not only transmit power, but they also transmit the signals for the sensors, so like various light sensors, sound sensors, and other things like that that tell the motors how to move and where to move. So if you want to get into some um, pretty cool little snap them together toys, check out either this kit or the smaller kit from Modular Robotics. Hi, it's Casey here with SparkFun at the Intel Developer Forum. Intel's making big news this week with launching the new Intel Edison. The Edison is a dual-core Intel Atom processor with uh, 2.4 5GHz Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth 4.0, lower energy. What we're doing here at SparkFun is we're releasing the Intel blocks for Edison. So we've created a series of 14 boards to expand the capabilities of the Edison to embed in uh, small projects, wearables, robots, your toaster, whatever you can think of. This is Mike from SparkFun Engineering at IDF in San Francisco, and I'm gonna show you my three favorite Edison blocks. The first one, a design that I laid out, it's an eight channel PWM output that can control servo motors. So you can use it for dimming LEDs, driving servo motors, whatever PWM type application you need. Connects to the Edison over I squared C, and it's got an external power connector so that you're not drawing power directly from the Edison. My second favorite is this guy, which is based on the OLED display that's in the micro view. It's also got a small joystick and a couple of little buttons for handy I.O. and one module. Naturally, this one's not stackable. Doesn't matter. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have this in the middle of the stack but it will allow you to add some I.O. options to your Edison without having to connect over a network. Finally, we've got the 9 degree of freedom board based on the LSM9 DSO chip. This is an I squared C based accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer that allows you to do full IMU functionality with the Edison simply by adding this one board to your stack.